Hey everyone, it's Eric Jensen again. Um, trying to start this up again. Uh, trying to talk about a few things going on in the world of sports. We'll keep it short and sweet here in the world of college football, as that's the most important stuff going on. Uh, although, um, <clears throat> yeah, I mean, I was I was going to write stuff, and I got things all set up to write stuff, and then I realized that I'm just too lazy to, and I would rather just talk. So here we are again. So uh, coming into this weekend of college football games, I'll say again, I don't think you should, any of these teams should be ranked yet until into October. I think we're starting to get a good idea of what teams are now, but with such variation and schedule toughness. I mean, some teams have played really hard teams. Some teams like Michigan have played absolutely no one. So do we really know if they're good or not? Not really. That's uh, going to be something we find out. So anyways, here are some of the big games. And of course, I'm going to focus more on the West Coast stuff because West Coast may not be as good as the you know, SEC or whatnot, but I like it a lot better. It's more entertaining. And, and and people aren't paying attention, but some of the teams in the Pac-12 are actually pretty darn good. So anyways, having said that, we're starting in the ACC with Clemson and going to Wake Forest. This game, uh, I, I feel a lot better that Wake Forest has its QB again. Uh Clemson just has no offense and an extremely um, good defense. I, I think they'll probably, in this game, I think Wake Forest is going to score some points. And I don't think Clemson is going to be able to uh, keep up in the beginning. I think they will make a change at quarterback. I think DJ is going to get replaced. That's something that Dabo Sweeney uh, will do. And so I think we may see the new era of Clemson offense. But I think Wake Forest is going to build a lead and hold on and win that game. Very close. Uh, then we've got in the Big 12, Baylor at Iowa State. I like Baylor in this one. I think Baylor is tough. Iowa State, I think they're very good. But I, I just think uh, Baylor's just got a little bit more to them on that defensive side of things. And, and I think they'll go into Iowa uh, and, and show that. Then we've got the classic rivalry that hasn't been a rivalry in like 20 years. Uh, Florida, Tennessee. I like the Volunteers and I like them a lot. I don't think Florida will be able to keep up with Tennessee offensively. I think they'll get run out. And uh, the Vols are looking pretty good, I think. But now we get into some Pac-12 action. We've got Oregon going to Pullman to visit Wazoo. And I think this is a sneaky game. I, I'm, I'm torn on who to pick. I think the Ducks will probably win this game. But it would not surprise me to see Wazoo win. Wazoo, surprisingly, like after that was, uh, Wisconsin win, uh, I th that surprised me. I mean, they played so poorly against Idaho and then and then so well, like physically against Wisconsin that that, that surprised me. So I'm, I'm going to say Oregon pulls it out at the end, but definitely only by a point or two. And Washington State definitely can win this game. Keep an eye on that for an upset special. Uh, we've got Arizona and Cal. Uh, we've with this one, I think Arizona is on the upswing, and I think they're going to prove it. Cal had that heartbreaking loss to Notre Dame that they probably shouldn't have lost. What with the offsides call on that field goal that really wasn't an offsides, and almost catching a hail mary pass, but uh, they are not. Cal's weird. I mean, they have no support and they're okay. And that's as good as they'll ever be. I think Arizona, with all the transfers that they've got, is a little bit better. So I'm taking the Wildcats there. We've got an S another SEC ma matchup between Arkansas, Texas A&M. I 
don't believe in A&M. I haven't believed in Texas A&M, and I still won't believe. I'm surprised they beat Miami. I mean, Miami moved the ball on them. They just couldn't score anything. Uh, I don't believe in Texas A&M. Uh, I don't think Jimbo Fisher, I don't believe in him either. So Arkansas, I think they come and win pretty big. Um, Kansas State at Oklahoma. This one is a tricky one. Uh, I don't believe the hype in Oklahoma. I don't believe in their offense. And I don't think you should take anything from that Nebraska win. I thought Nebraska was going to be good going into this year. They have been awful. They've been worse than awful. And losing, firing Scott, um, fi firing uh, whatever his name is. I'm drawing a blank <laughs> now. They're, firing their head coach didn't solve anything. Uh, they are not good. They are bad. They are awful. And uh, so Oklahoma blowing them out, don't take anything from that. That does not mean Oklahoma has a good offense. It, it means nothing. I would not take anything from that. Scott Frost, that's the coach's name. Uh, I think Kansas State is going to go in. They've got Oklahoma's number for several years. Granted, this is a new regime. But uh, I just don't believe in Oklahoma's offense. They, their defense is okay, uh, pretty good, but I am going to take the Wildcats. I would be a lot more confident if the Wildcats hadn't blown the last game uh, last weekend, but I still think Kansas State will end up winning. I probably, Kansas State was probably looking, home, uh, looking ahead to this game, is my assumption. All right, we've got Wyoming at BYU. Uh, BYU... I I don't know what happened last week. I thought they were going to out physical Oregon. I thought they were going to win comfortably at Eugene and I was wrong completely. They just got completely demolished and were out physical. They were out everything. They had no shot in that. Um, I think they will bounce back big though. I don't think Wyoming is all that great. I do I do think there's okay, but uh, I think BYU will win comfortably. We've got Utah at Arizona State. That's Arizona State's a mess. Herm Edwards being fired isn't going to help anything. They, they have no one on their team, and Utah will show uh, that they have no one and win really big. We've got Stanford at Washington. I don't think this game will be close. Washington is looking really good. Uh, their offense is is dynamic. They they can run the ball, throw the ball defensively. They're solid in the secondary. Uh, Stanford is Stanford is not going to move the ball like they did against USC, and um, and they will get blown out of Husky Stadium. And then we've got the biggest game: USC at Oregon State. Uh, the the Beavs and the Trojans. In this game, I think what, what we've got going on is an offense in USC's that is just too potent to keep up with. As long as they don't turn over the ball, which they have not for three straight great games, USC will win this game. If they get sloppy, which you never know what uh, how or when that would happen, then Oregon State's got a chance. I don't think they'll get sloppy, and I'm talking about multiple turnovers. Uh, I could see USC fumbling or throwing an interception in the game. That, I don't think, will we'll lose it. But uh, multiple turnovers, then you're giving that life to, uh, to Oregon State. Because USC's defense, while opportunistic and can get some good plays, uh, they just get gashed. And it's 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 embarrassing sometimes the the gashes that happen and the defensive lapses that happen. Uh, so I mean they they haven't allowed actually too many points, but they they allow tons of yards. Definitely a bend but don't break kind of defense here, and they've yeah. Yeah, they they need some better 
cohesion in that. And I think they are. Uh, in the second half of every single game, USC has gotten better defensively. And I think that you can take a lot into that. Obviously, some adjustments have been made. I think they're still getting together. Defense is about working together as one unit. And, uh, and so I think they will continue to get better as the season goes along. Uh, but right now, it's, it's USC's offense is pretty remarkable and uh, pretty unstoppable. So as long as they are winning and, and not turning the ball over, there's not going to be too many teams that can keep up with USC. So this one, I think it'll be closer, uh, but I do think USC will win by about 10 points. I think they'll jump out to a lead here, and then that puts the pressure on Oregon State's offense to try and keep up with USC's offense, and that will help the, the defense um, of, of USC, even though they definitely have some issues. So that's uh, this week in college football. Uh, the only other note, Roger Federer retiring. He's uh, playing this last match with the doubles, uh, uh, with doubles match with Nadal. I think that's awesome. Uh, congratulations. I think he's the best tennis player ever. Uh, even if Rafa and Novak end up winning more majors, I still think Roger is the best. Anyways, that's all I've got. Fight on. Go Trojans.